Now let's take a look at executing Transact SQL queries inside the SQL 2005 world. A lot of people, first time they opened this, couldn't figure out exactly, wait a minute, how do I do queries here? I'm going to go to Start Program SQL Server 2005, the Management Studio. This is so cool because we actually have here more or less the marriage between Query Analyzer and the actual Enterprise Manager itself, if you will. If you'll notice on the left over here on the Object Explorer, if you don't see this, you can go to View Object Explorer here and you'll be able to see it. Expand the databases. And for example, in the Master Tables, I can see some of my tables here. Well, what if I want to write a query against one of these? Because if you remember, I can see the columns that are in it and so forth. All I have to do is come up here to my toolbar right under my menu and click New Query. Notice what it did. It gave me a query out here in my work area. Notice there's tabbed. I still have my summary information out here. Now I have a new tab for queries. Okay, so I can type select asterisk from. If you know Transact SQL, you know what I'm doing. If not, don't worry about it. But I want to select all the columns and rows from this particular table. So notice what I can do. Simply drag and drop that table to right there. Come up to the toolbar. Click on Execute. It executes it and brings back the result. Now what's really neat about this is I can continue to go work. I can go look at registered servers and take a look at my named instance. I can do all kind of stuff. Notice I double click this, come back to summary. I can look at some things there, go back to my tab, see my query again, all kinds of cool stuff I can do. Now, this query will stay here as long as I want it to. Let's, what if I want to do another query? I come click new query again. Notice I'm on a different tab now. So now, I can say select asterisk from, let's get another table, and this time we'll do the uh, fallback dev. Execute that. Notice there's not anything in the table, but we did get a result set, an empty result set back. Notice we now have our two queries. Here's the first query and the result set on a tab, the second query and the result set on the tab. So a lot of cool things you can do here. Do also want you to know that you can go to Tools Options and you can start to set how these things all look. For example, fonts and colors and your layouts. Okay, so you're not stuck with that courier type if you don't want it. And so there's a lot of different things you can set out here as far as how this thing behaves. And I won't go through a whole lot of this. You can go out and play with that yourself. That's how to execute a query. We'll look at some um, graphical queries and so forth a little later on. But that's where Query Analyzer went. It's actually part of your main administrative tool now.